In this video, we will be looking at why this little jet might have saved us from World War III, and why the F-8 Crusader is a highly regarded carrier-based fighter, as well as why it earned three nicknames, the Sports Car, the Gator, and the Last Gun Fighter. The Vought F-8 Crusader, a carrier-based fighter aircraft developed for the United States Navy, was notable for its high speed and unique design features. One of its most distinctive characteristics was its ability to safely take off with its wings folded, which made it well suited for use on aircraft carriers with limited deck space. Due to its impressive speed and maneuverability, pilots often referred to the F-8 as the sports car of the Navy. However, the aircraft's engine design also earned it a more ominous nickname among deck crew members. With its air intakes located low to the ground, the F-8 had the potential to suck in a person earning it the nickname The Gator. Do not miss out on our upcoming content. Hit the bell icon now to get notified and stay on top of our latest releases. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of this video. The F-8 had a successful combat record during the Vietnam War. It was credited with shooting down 18 North Vietnamese MiG-17 aircraft, which led to its pilot, John W. Bill McMaster, earning a legendary reputation. Additionally, the F-8 was the last US Navy fighter designed to carry 420mm autocannons, earning it the nickname the Last Gun Fighter. The Crusader was developed during a time when the United States sought to demonstrate its air superiority. Although the F-8's role has sometimes been overlooked in favor of the F-4 Phantom, it remains one of the most remarkable aircraft of its generation due to its impressive speed and combat capabilities. The F-8 was highly regarded by those who flew and worked on it, and it even inspired its own saying. When you're out of F-8s, you're out of fighters. This saying reflects the high esteem in which the F-8 was held among US Navy personnel during its service life. Following the Korean War, the United States Navy recognized the need for a fighter jet that could carry more powerful armaments than standard machine guns, which were proving less effective in aerial combat. In September 1952, the Navy issued a requirement for an aircraft capable of landing at 100 miles per hour or less and carrying 20mm autocannons. Vought, led by John Russell Clark, submitted a design proposal for such an aircraft, which was later acknowledged as the Vought F-8 Crusader initially designated the V-383. The F-8 met the Navy's requirements and went on to become a highly regarded fighter jet during its service life. The F-8 aircraft was equipped with a Pratt Whitney J-57 turbojet engine that generated 18,000 pounds of thrust making it the first US fighter jet capable of vertical climb and reaching speeds up to 1,000 miles per hour. It had a considerable flight range and was designed to operate in all weather conditions. One of its distinctive features was a variable incidence wing that pivoted by seven degrees during landing, allowing for a higher angle of attack without affecting forward visibility. On March 25, 1955, Test pilot John Conrad successfully completed the first flight of the Crusader aircraft. During this maiden flight, the aircraft broke the sound barrier. 30 days later, the second prototype also had a successful first flight. Prototypes of the aircraft began setting records immediately. In 1956, Navy test pilot R.W. Duke Windsor and the Crusader broke another record. This was a national speed record. The F-4 and its crew hit a speed of 1,015 miles per hour. For the time, this was unheard of. On June 6, 1957, the aircraft covered a distance of 2,200 miles from the west coast to the east coast of the United States in just 3 hours and 28 minutes. Later that same year, Major John H. Glenn performed the first supersonic flight from California to New York aboard an FHU-1P version of the Crusader. This journey took 3 hours and 23 minutes to complete. The manufacturer Chance Fort also worked on the prototype of the Crusader 3, which would become a successor to the F-8 program and a competitor to the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II. The Crusader 3 was a larger aircraft than its predecessors and had a more powerful engine. Its debut flight in 1958 was exceptional, but the program was ultimately cancelled to prioritize the Phantom which was deemed more rugged and versatile. By 1957, 
the Crusader had been deployed to both the US Air Force and Navy. The Swordsman Squadron was the first team to fly the aircraft, which was later sent to the Mediterranean that year, aboard the USS Saratoga. The F-8 was also sent to the VF-154 Black Knight Squadron, based at NAS Moffett Field in California. Despite hopes for a slower landing jet, the Crusader had a surprisingly fast landing speed. Pilots required considerable skills to land the aircraft safely, and carriers would often steam ahead at full speed to lower the relative landing speed. Takeoff was also fast and challenging for pilots, who had to manage an aircraft so powerful that it could get airborne even with its hinged wingtips folded up. As pilot Don Fraser once said, there were no simulators in those days. You strapped it on and hoped you had it all right. The Crusader was a popular aircraft among pilots, but it frequently experienced hydraulic fluid leaks and electrical system breakdowns. As a result, the Crusader had a higher mishap rate than other fighter jets. Out of the 1,261 aircraft built, 1,106 were involved in accidents. The airplane could also be intimidating for ground crew members who nicknamed it the Gator. Crawling down the engine intake was an nerve-wracking experience for workers who feared being sucked in. The aircraft was also positioned quite low, and crews were explicitly instructed to avoid going in front of it. Jet mechanic John Bury recalled an incident in which he had to grab a pilot by his ankles as he was getting sucked into the air intake. The F-8 was highly regarded by pilots, who affectionately referred to it as the Navy's sports car. General Jack Daly the director of the National Air and Space Museum, remarked that everybody who flew that airplane loved it. Mechanics also enjoyed engine runs due to the powerful afterburner of the aircraft, which had only two settings, on and off. This could result in an impressive and uncontrolled explosion of thrust, which kept deck crew members constantly on their toes. Six years after its introduction, the Crusader was deployed to the front lines of the Cuban Missile Crisis. In October 1962, the plane was part of Operation Blue Moon, which involved low-level photo reconnaissance missions over Cuba. Twice a day, the F-8s flew from Key West, Florida to Cuba and back to develop the film immediately and send it directly to the Pentagon. Through 160,000 images taken by the planes, the US confirmed that the Soviet Union was installing intermediate-range ballistic missiles on the island. Later, the Crusader also documented how the weapons were removed. The pilots of the aircraft were eventually honored with distinguished flying crosses, and the squadrons received the US Navy unit commendation. In March 1965, President Lyndon B. Johnson deployed US combat forces to Vietnam. The F-8 Crusader quickly became the primary aircraft in the conflict effectively destroying the North Vietnamese forces MiG-17s. The F-8 stood out for its exceptional dogfighting capabilities, setting it apart from other aircraft deployed in Vietnam. It also had armaments that included 32 unguided Mighty Mouse aerial rockets and two guided AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air missiles. The Crusader proved to be a superior aircraft in Vietnam, excelling at dogfighting and surpassing the F-4 Phantom II in terms of maneuverability and armament. Equipped with 32 unguided Mighty Mouse rockets and two guided AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, it had a faster speed, lighter weight, and longer flying range. The Crusader's kill ratio was the best in the war, with four MiGs downed for every two losses. Of the 19 MiGs brought down, only four were from the plane's internal cannons, while the rest were taken out with its same nine Sidewinder missiles. Due to its impressive performance, the aircraft earned the nickname MiG Master. In 1965, the F-8 Crusader was utilized in Operation Flaming Dart, a series of airstrikes targeting Viet Cong bases as retaliation for their attacks on US Air Force bases and a hotel housing American citizens. Rear Admiral Bob Shoemaker was flying low in an F-8 while attacking barracks a few miles away from the demilitarized zone when his plane was shot down. Although he survived, he was held captive as a prisoner of war for eight years. Throughout the conflict, a total of 170 Crusaders were lost. The F-8 Crusader had a successful history not only serving the US Armed Forces, 
but also the French army who ordered several modified F-8s in 1962 to fit their smaller carriers. These modified aircrafts were also equipped with two French Matra R-530 infrared missiles. Although the Crusaders continued to serve through the 70s and 80s, they were involved in only one combat interception against two Yemeni MiG-21s. In 1983, the F-8 escorted the Sobregia Super 8 on Dard fighter jet on its combat missions over Lebanon. It also served the French Navy in missions over the former Yugoslavia and the Adriatic Sea. The aircraft remained in service until 2000 when it was entirely replaced by the Dassault Falcon Twin engine plane. Additionally, the F-8 also served the Philippine Air Force from 1977 to 1991. The government purchased 35 second-hand F-8s from the U.S. Navy, which also agreed to train the Philippine pilots. However, 10 of these planes were only used for spare parts, and in 1998, the remaining aircraft were grounded due to a shortage of parts needed to fix the damaged F-8s. Ultimately, the jets were officially retired and sold for scrap after sustaining damage during the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991. During the 1970s, NASA selected an F-8A for the installation of a supercritical wing to reduce shock waves on the upper surface. However, the operation costs of the modified wing became impractical, leading to its discontinuation. Another modified version of the Crusader was used to test a digital fly-by-wire control system that was used by space shuttles, further pushing the frontier of flight. Despite being retired from air combat, the Crusaders remained in service with active light photographic squadrons until March 2, 1987, when the last of them was sent to the National Air and Space Museum. With almost two decades in service, the F-8 was the first Navy fighter to have such an extended career. Although the Crusader can now be found in museums and private collections, it is often overshadowed by the F-4 Phantom. The Phantom was less agile than the Crusader, but was faster, more powerful, and more adaptable. It also had double the operational life of the Crusader and was retired in 2016. However, unlike the Phantom, which was designed for missile engagement, the Crusader was specifically made for dogfighting. Today, the F-8 is celebrated as the last gunfighter, being the last US fighter designed to carry four 20mm autocannons as its primary weapons. It played a vital role in some of the most important conflicts of the past 50 years and is still regarded as a remarkable aircraft. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned.